In this video, we will see how we can sort the data automatically as we type. We are going to sort the data in two ways. First, we'll sort the data using functions and secondly, using the VBA code. We have a data range here that consists of employees and their salary. I've deliberately kept the salary in small digits so that it is easy to understand. I want to sort the data based on salary the employee having the largest salary should be on the top followed by the smaller salary and so on. For sorting, we will be using functions like VLOOKUP, LARGE, INDEX and MATCH. So let's see how we can do this. So I've already created a table here. To sort on salary type, we'll use the function VLOOKUP. So we'll type equal to VLOOKUP. We need to sort the salary from largest to smallest. So we will use large function here in lookup value. So in lookup value, we will use the large function. So the array, we will select the whole column of salary. Comma K. So k is an integer that specifies the position from the largest value in the array or range of cells of data to return. So here we are going to just select the serial number. We'll close the bracket here. Comma table array. So our table array again will be the salary column. We'll click on salary column that is T column. Comma column index number. So in our table of salary, in our column, there is only one column. So we'll type one over here. And for range lookup, we just keep it as zero. Close the bracket and press enter. So we'll see that 480, which is on the second number, has come on the top. Let's drag it till down. So you will see that 480 is on the top and 300 is on the second position. We have got some errors over here. So to fix the error, we will use the if error function. I'll type is if error. And if there is an error, we will just keep it as blank. Close the bracket, press enter. And we will drag it till the end. So we have sorted the salary from the largest to smallest number. But in employee there is no name. So we also need to get the names based on the salary. To get the employee name here, we'll use the index function. So we'll type equal to index. Array array will select the employee name so we'll select the full column comma row number so we need to get the employee name based on the salary so 480 for 480 we need to get the name of shanti so we'll select this particular column which is j3 for that we'll be using the function match so first of all we'll enter match function Lookup value will be the salary that is 480. So we'll select J3, comma, lookup array. So 480 is in column D, that is the salary column. We'll select the D column here, comma, we'll keep 0 as the exact match, close the bracket from March, and close the bracket for index and press enter. So we'll get Chonti whose salary is 480 we will, and here it is on the second position but here it has come on the first position. So we'll drag it down. So we'll get MS Dhoni on the second position. So the salary from largest to the smallest value and we also got the name here. 
So there are some errors here. To fix the errors, again, we will use the if error function here. So I'll type if error. And if there is another, we'll keep it as black. Close the bracket and press enter. And drag it till end. So we have done with the formula. Now let's add some data here and see whether our sorting is happening automatically. So I'll just type one more name here. SMIT, that is math. And salary, I'll enter it as 600, which is on the third position. So Smith, whose salary is 600, is, six, is on the third position. But in the other table, if you see, Smith has come on the first position as it is the largest salary. Let's add one more value or one more data here. So we added Jess as 380 and we got him on the third row. Let's add one more data here. I'll enter it as 900. You will see Steve whose salary is 900 is on the top. You can keep adding the data over here. So I'll enter it as 620. And Johnson whose salary is 620 has reached on the second position, on the second row. So this is how you can do the sorting based on the formula using VLOOKUP, MATCH and other formulas like LARGE INDEX. But this, we have done it in the second table. So whatever data we are entering in the first table, we are getting the sorted data in the second table. But what if I want to do the sorting in the same table? So that can be done through the VBO code. Let's move out to the second sheet. I've got some data here. And I want to sort the data based on the salary in the same table. To do that, we'll use the VBA code. So we'll right click on sheet 2 and click on view code. I've already written a VBA code for this. So I'll just copy it from there. And I'll paste it here. So you'll get this VBA code in the description box. You can check it there. You can copy it and you can paste it whenever needed. You just need to make sure that the column ranges over here. Like the column C, column B and the column C. If you are using some other columns, you need to come to this VBA code and change the column names. Uh, I mean the columns. I'll just close it. Let's enter some data over here. So I've kept it as descending. If I enter any data here, it will automatically sort the table. So 250 is the smallest. So it is still on the last position. If I enter 900, it will automatically move to the first position. If I enter 1000, it will automatically move to the first position. So this 500, if I make it 650, it will go on the third position and the third position will be shifted to the fourth position. There it is. This 250, if I make it 500, the fifth position will move to the sixth position. And that is how it goes. So this can also be done with the help of the VBA code. If you look at the code again, the order which has been set is descending. You can change it to ascending. I'll 
save and close it now if I put it here like say 250 you will see all the data has been changed say I make it 1100 it will go to the end so this is how you can sort the data using the VBA code in the same table in the sheet one we saw the function of large over here so whatever data we are entering in the first table it is sorting here based on the large function and if you want you can change it to small if you make it small here and press enter and if you drag it you will see the data has been changed so we have made it from in the ascending order earlier it was in the descending order if I make it again into large and drag it you will see now it is in the descending order so you can use the large function or the small function based on your requirement so these were basically the two ways where you can automatically sort the data